So, I don't know why it has taken me this long to get organized with my seeds. Because in the past, it has been so hard to find what I'm looking for because it typically looks like this. In a box, all thrown together, and I would have to go through the whole box. If you're unfamiliar, these little cases can be found on Amazon. We'll link those in the description. And if we publish the video and don't post the link, somebody just remind us and we'll get it on there. We have a bad habit of doing that. Individual cases, and in every case, you can open that thing up. I don't know if I can do it one-handed, y'all. And put your seeds in. Now, I just have a big pack of seeds in here because we typically buy them in big brown bags which rip or don't get all the way closed and then we have a big mess to clean up. But, and then I have it labeled. So everything's in alphabetical order. Here is cr corn, pea, um, corn, greens, and lots of peas and then microgreens. I have those in the back. Over here, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, cabbage, cucumbers, flowers, herbs, lettuce, okras, onions, and pumpkins, peppers, squash, tomatoes, zucchini, and watermelon. So I got all that organized and walked over here because I need to get some bell peppers in the ground like, or in the greenhouse as soon as possible. And I walked over here, it was so easy. I went right to the peppers and pulled the container out. Get it open and find exactly what I'm looking for. So much easier. If you're not familiar with this and you need to get your seeds together, this was a great thing for us. So we have everything organized. It has been so much easier, so much nicer. I had some helpers that helped me get the stuff together a few days ago. And these are basically the little indi indi individual, I will get it out in a few minutes, y'all. The individual boxes, they're actually made to hold four by six photos, but they're perfect for seeds. I have some that have like maybe five or six in there. And then I have some like back here in my herbs that are slammed full. Really cool thing. I don't know what took us so long to just like get it together. I did find yet another box that has sunflower seeds, moringa, basil, some more lettuce, um, and more dill that I have to get. These are also, I found these to come in handy. These are, we actually, when we went to Michigan last summer, we went over to MR Gardener's store and found these little packets, little seed packets. So for the seed collectors at home that collect your own seeds, these come in handy because you can just throw them in the little bags. Then they will go into my labeled containers. So we are getting organized. What's that face for? You're supposed to be smiling. Oh, all I see is Livy. Her face was all in the camera. But Ellie wanted y'all to see her puffed up finger. Show them your other finger, Ellie. Look at the size difference. She got a little bee sting and she's having some swelling, so we're treating that. And it will get better, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. And it still has the, um, singer. It does still have the singer in there. So we were walking towards the garden and Ellie Bell was too close to the bees. She wasn't that close. She wasn't very close, but we were walking in that area and one got her on her finger. And by the time we could get all the way home, Already yeah, it had already started swelling. I could see the stinger in there, but I could not get it out with my fingernails. So we were trying to rush up and get home, but by the time we got inside and got the tweezers, it already swelled to the point where I could not get the stinger. So we have been treating that. We've got to wait a little bit longer for the swelling to go down, and then we've got to get that stinger out. But does it hurt as bad today as it did? It, did, it doesn't hurt that bad. It doesn't hurt as bad as it did, but it's still kind of puffy, isn't it? Yeah. When I got stung by a red wasp, it hurt way worse. So the red wasps hurt worse than a honeybee? Yeah. And then the 
just the walls. And the I walls. I got stung by walls, and this is probably how much bee stings I've had. Oh, I can't remember, baby. Probably too. about two. But two, we're two. treating it, and she's going to be fine. I'm an RN by profession, so we're going to take care of it and make sure that she does okay. And hopefully we won't get any more bee stings this year, but that's not a promise. They will be okay, but not a promise for me and Colby because it is just beginning to be bee season for us, which means swarms, swarms, swarms. We're going to be watching our bees for swarms. We hate to see him go. He just keeps jumping fences. So he is going to find a way to fulfill his needs other ways. We're going to process him. I hate to see it. I wanted him to get a lot bigger, but there's just there's no reason to keep him if he's going to keep jumping fences or getting under it. So it's time to maneuver him on to the next phase of uh, life for him and transition him to food. So he'll provide for our farm in other ways. He's been a good one. He just, for some reason, wanted to start getting out. You see he's starting to shed his coat. Again, we wanted him to grow another 30 or 40 pounds at least, but uh, we can't jeopardize losing him either. I'll say spring grasses have definitely arrived. I mean, we have just got thick, lush grass. They've ate that paddock down, mowed it well. They're moving, you see, we are Donaldless. So it's now just trumping the girls. They're shedding their coats real well. We put some iron basically where Donald was. We've got some iron. You see that that right there? That's their, their hair. So we're going to leave that in there. And that will help rub it off of them. It's actually, look, look at how much hair is actually knocked off of them. So that's good. That's what I, I'm actually going to leave that in there because it's wire and it'll help. Kind of, hey, buddy. Hey, Trump. Hey, Trump. Hey, buddy. Hey. You smell that feed. <laughs> Normally we would just scoop these in here. It is tiny, it's not big at all. But if we can get them to go in on their own, we want them to. If we can't, then this afternoon, because they'll probably stay there until this afternoon, because uh, it's gonna get colder, of course, throughout the evening and there's a rain, chance of rain tomorrow. So if they don't go in there by t tonight, what we'll do is actually just take this and scoop it into the little nuke box. But we'd rather them go naturally in there they tend to stay longer if they go in there versus us forcing them in there. They came from this last one, which we knew we were going to add a box to. We were just going to do it tomorrow. We were just a little late. I think it's because it rained so much yesterday and they were kind of stuck in there. So we're going to go ahead and bait this box with some honey, a little lemongrass, and uh, some extra beeswax. And that way we can try to get these this little this little swarm right here in there. Life with no distractions will get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Tipped up. Look at that. That's what you want. When you're rotating back around, look at that tip. No cut. Beautiful grass. Look at that. Gorgeous. These fields are doing good. Just think, less than eight months ago, these were pine thicket. So just rotate them on there, overseeding your property. No fertilization, no disking or tilling on these fields. To have these fields starting to grow like this. And just think, next year they'll even be better. It'll even be back. Get the fresh grass today. Yeah, be free. 